Good day everybody and welcome to my presentation. The subject we are exploring is theories of sport and leisure and today we will be looking at the sport and leisure business environments and all that is associated with it. Today we will be looking at for-profit and non-profit sports structures or organizations that are specific to South Africa. This presentation compares non-profit and for-profit sports organizations, focusing on their pros and cons and showcasing real-life examples here at home in South Africa. A sports organization that operates with the primary goal of making money is known as a for-profit organization. In order to increase revenue, for-profit sports organizations seek to broaden their market reach, draw in top talent, and offer first-rate facilities and entertainment options. A non-profit sports organization is an organization whose goal it is to help the community and society, and even improve mental and physical health rather than make money. Non-profit sports groups put community involvement, accessibility and social objectives first and put development and inclusivity ahead of profits. Here are some comparisons between for-profit and non-profit sports organisations. Non-profit organisations are community driven. They are focused on the needs and impact of the community. For-profit organizations are revenue-driven. They are focused on making profits. On the non-profit side, staff are made up mostly of volunteers and even permanent staff that don't actually get paid a lot. Staff in a for-profit organization are paid individuals and interns who get a monthly salary. The mission focus on the non-profit side, they are very focused on where they specifically need money to go and what their goals are to improve the community. In a for-profit organization, they focus on putting in their money in facilities and attracting top talent. Non-profits emphasize on accessibility to everyone, but also specifically to the lower income people. For profits are specific to attracting high paying customers. Non profits are funded by government donations or sponsorships, and for profits are funded by private businesses and investors who are looking to make a profit. Non profits report to their donors who have donated to them, the communities they are trying to impact, and government bodies that are possibly funding them. They let them know where they are on their mission and what does the future look like in that organization. For profits report to shareholders and investors and give them specific reports in their finances and performance metrics related to profitability. Nonprofits pay less or sort of special taxes because they do not make a profit, and for profits pay strict taxes on profits and salaries. In this slide, we are specifically going to look at the profit organizations and the pros and cons thereof. On the left, looking at the cons, we've got profit-driven decision-making. This means that the community needs may be overlooked so that the organization can make sure it is rather making profit. There is increased pressure on athletes as they are now expected to perform to bring in revenue. There is limited accessibility because of the focus on revenue. Higher prices can offer less accessibility to underprivileged communities. High operating costs, since it is run as a fully operational business, significant financial investments are required and losses can actually impact sustainability in the business. Over to the right, looking at the pros, brand building and global expansion. These profit organizations have the business incentive and the capital to make it possible to expand into international markets, increase influence in the sports industry and build a global brand. 
Another pro is the ability to invest in talent and facilities. These organizations can offer high quality facilities and they can access top tier talent and pay them for what they are worth, as well as new and innovative technologies. Very clear profit motive. The profit-driven model can potentially attract more funding and investments as it aligns with investor interests. Enhanced sponsorship opportunities. These organizations have a greater appeal to corporate sponsors who would be attracted to strong brand exposure that the organization can offer, massive fan engagement, and commercial returns. Here we will be looking at non-profit organizations and the pros and cons thereof. On the left on our cons, we have uncertainty of funds. This is probably the biggest one as these organizations are vulnerable to fluctuating funding streams. They have a less competitive edge because they lack high budget facilities and opportunities that might affect their athletes performance and exposure. They have limited resources because they rely heavily on donations or grants. This can limit resources, affect growth, talent acquisition and facility maintenance. Also, a complex accountability. These organizations are usually governed by boards or committees, which does create a slower decision making process and offers less flexibility. The pros on the right. They have a community focus. These organizations prioritize the community needs and accessibility for the community into sport, offering foundational programs and social development. They have possible funding opportunities. They might be eligible for grants, donations and government funding, and these might be unavailable to for-profit entities. They have athlete development. They emphasize athlete well-being, physical and mental, personal growth and community values over commercial success. And there's less pressure on the revenue. So there's more flexibility to focus on the organization's mission and long-term goals without the need to actually maximize profits. And now getting to a little bit of the fun part in experiencing and understanding actual examples of South African sports organizations. On the left, we have non-profit sports organizations, which we will have a quick look at. And these include the Sport for Social Change Network. They are Africa's leading sport for development network, working with partners across the continent, the African continent, to deliver sustainable social impact through sports and physical activity. We also have the LORIS YES, which stands for Youth Empowerment Through Sport, and they are a dynamic and holistic program which actively invests in the youth by empowering them to go into their communities and become ambassadors of sport and change makers. Ama Wheelies is a quadriplegic center that takes care of people with spinal cord injuries. They offer basketball and wheelchair rugby as part of their program. Dreamfield Project, they create better schools through sports and build stronger communities through better schools. The South African Equestrian Federation oversee equestrian sports in South Africa and promotes access to the sport through community and youth engagement programs. We also have Surfing South Africa Development Plan and they provide access to surfing for underprivileged youth and offer coaching and development programs in coastal communities to foster growth and self-confidence. How cool is that? On the right, we have the for-profit sports organization examples. We have Virgin Active, which everybody knows. They operate 136 health clubs across South Africa, Botswana and Namibia. And they are passionate about helping people of all ages to live an active life. Ironman South Africa is the largest operator of mass participation sports in the world and they provide participants the benefits on, of endurance sports through the company's vast offerings. The Blue Bulls Company have been the most successful South African franchise in Vodacom Super Rugby. 
Enduro World has been providing South African dirt bikers with pertinent and relevant information and entertainment since 2003. And last but not least, we have the Orlando Pirates. They are one of the top football clubs in South Africa and they operate with a profit model earning income from sponsorship deals, broadcasting rights, merchandise, and fan engagement events. Through the research and putting together of this presentation, I have learned that both for-profit and non-profit sports organizations play very important roles in South Africa. We need for-profit organizations to excel in revenue generation and innovation to help build the South African economy. We also need non-profits to make sports available to lower income communities and build the community impact of sports. I hope that you learned this too and thank you for your time.